Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and in today's video, we're going to dive into how you can manage iPhone photo storage. If you are struggling with running out of space due to photos and videos, this guide is going to help you out and hopefully explain how it generally works. So let's start with the basics, open the settings app on your iPhone, go to the general section and then tap on iPhone storage. After a few seconds, you'll see a detailed breakdown of how your storage is being used. This includes different categories such as apps, system files, and importantly, photos. Typically, the photo section will be one of the largest uh, uses of your storage, but to manage this, you'll find several recommendations right here in this section. For instance, you might see suggestions to remove recently deleted photos which are no longer needed. Another useful feature is the ability to review large files, such as videos, and del delete them individually to free up space. You will also be given the option to back up your photos to iCloud to free up local storage. Now, this is a great way to keep your photos safe without taking up space on your actual device. However, if you prefer not to use iCloud, there are other methods to manage your photo storage effectively. One simple way to manage your photos is directly through the Photos app. You can manually select and delete photos and videos that you no longer need. Additionally, you can back up these files to an external hard drive and then remove them from your iPhone to free up space. This approach helps you keep your photos organized and still keep them. I mean, if you back them up, you're not going to delete them for good. For those looking for more advanced options, Using a computer can be very effective. If you have a Windows PC, you can connect your iPhone via USB cable and manage your photos through the File Explorer. This method allows you to easily view and transfer photos to your computer or backup or delete them, whatever. On a Mac, the process is slightly different. You can't browse photos individually in the finder like you can on Windows. Instead, you might need to use the, the let's say Photos app to import all your photos or sync them entirely. However, there is a third-party software called Commander One, which I personally recommend. It's not a sponsor of this video or anything, but it's a tool I find very useful. With Commander One, you can connect your phone to your Mac and browse your photos as files, making it easy to transfer or de delete them directly. So this is gonna be about it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you later on in the future. Peace out until then.